Hello guys, this is Adam and welcome to the Adam Lab and we have the test for the M1 Max Mac Studio or as I call it the Mac Mini Pro We'll be testing a Blender the 3.1 version which is for the Apple Silicon and then this time we will do the Fox scene We did the BMW scene you can go ahead and check it It was released uh, yesterday or before yesterday on the channel and you will definitely find that video But I do have the GPU here and then the CPU as well and then the RAM usage right here so what we are gonna do we will go ahead and test the GPU as well now before doing that I just want to make sure that the Apple M1 Max GPU is chosen and then we will go ahead and instead of Eve we will go ahead and do cycle cycle supported and we will do GPU compute we'll go ahead and do render and now we will see how long that would be taken so da, 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 da. the RAM usage that we are having right now is a 20 gigabyte. This project is way more demanding than the other project, the BMW scene, because with the BMW scene, it was only 15 gigabytes. And that's where the RAM limitation would come off of this device. Now, what we are testing is the base model with um, 32 gigabyte of RAM, 512 gigabyte of SSD storage, which I do not recommend. I recommend a minimum of one terabyte if you are spending that money you might as well just get the one terabyte storage and then we are looking at the M1 Max with 10 core CPU and then a 20 for core GPU as well. Now, if we are looking at the GPU, the GPU is being completely used to the max. And then if we are looking at the efficiency cores, which usual, the efficiency, the efficiency cores, which they are usually related to the GPU, they are being used completely. And then if we are looking at the performance cores, we are only using two cores out of the uh, performance cores that we have and even those cores are not being used as much this is done and it took one minute and 29 seconds so basically in order to render one scene one image from the fox project using blender with the m1 max using the gpu it took one minute and 29 seconds let's compare that and let's see what was the results on the fox scene with the 16 inch macbook pro Pro with 64 gigabyte of RAM, 32 core GPU instead of a 24 core um, GPU here with 10 cores of CPU plus the 8 terabyte storage with the storage has nothing to do with anything. Go ahead, I'm checking my channel right now. You can do the same. With my previous video, which you can definitely go ahead and check, when we did the test, we got one minute and 20 seconds. And here we got one minute and 29 seconds 0.78 so you can say it's one minute and 30 seconds for extra two hundred dollars you can get the 32 core gpu on the mac studio and i think it's worth it because the difference uh, from those 10 seconds between the mac studio 16 inch and this is simply because there we have more cores than here since here 24 cores and there 32 cores so that is the difference now we will do the same test but we will do it with the cpu so instead of the gpu compute we will go with the cpu and then we will go ahead and click render and again we will be taking a look at all the results that we are getting so da, 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 da. ram usage we are using a 24 gigabyte of RAM instead of a 27 and the reason you are getting less memory or ram usage is because you are dependent on the cpu when you are dependent on the cpu that's mean you are using less ram the reason being when you use the gpu the gpu doesn't have a discrete memory it takes its memory or vram for the gpu from the ram of your main device since it's all one soc one chip so when you are using the gpu that extra ram usage is because of the gpu being used now here the gpu is not being used there is just an initial burst and after that it settles while if we are looking at the cpu we have everything being used all the eight cores being used plus the two efficiency cores and if we are looking here the cpu all the cores are being used with less memory memory being used because again we are not using the gpu as much and the time that we are looking at we're looking at around three minutes to four minutes for the whole project to be done on the fully specced out m1 max 
again the 32 core uh, gpu with the 64 gigabyte of ram it took four minutes and 17 seconds using the cpu and what we will see is after this is done how much time there will be a difference this a project is now done on the mac studio again with the cpu and what we are looking at is four minutes and 19 seconds so the difference is only two seconds probably you can say it's in the margin of error depending on whom you are against which means the cpu is the same here and there at least with the fox scene so that is the test for a blender for the fox scene when it comes to rendering one image with the cpu and the gpu definitely this machine is more than capable of handling your needs with a blender probably in the future i will be doing more of a workflow using the mac studio and not only um rendering a scene in order to see the workflow and how that works and that would be coming in a future videos with that being said the mac studio base model i definitely recommend it for a blender it's an amazing machine the only thing that I will change is go with one terabyte of uh, SSD instead of 512. 512 will not cut it. And again, if you are paying that type of money, that's everything. I will see you guys uh, very soon with a test for Unreal Engine, which you should be uh, seeing very soon. Aside from that, I wish you a very good day. This was Adam from the Adam Lab and bye-bye.